Hello everyone, let's talk about TV streaming services. I'm not talking about Netflix, Disney Plus, and the plethora of other network streaming services. I'm talking about the specific ones that can replace your cable or satellite service that you have today. And there are many options, but two stand apart, Fubo TV and YouTube TV. But which streaming TV platform is best? Stick around and find out. I am Swappy, let us begin. Kicking it off with pricing, YouTube TV has a single tier price of $65 a month plus tax. There are add-ons such as HBO Max and some other sports channels and Showtime and a plethora of other options that you can add on for an additional cost. But the main non-premium level channels, there's just one tier at that $65 price. Fubo TV is a little bit different. They have three price tiers on their main level of channels with increasingly cost for each starting around $65 and going all the way up to $79 a month plus taxes will get you the base service. Plus, if you go into some of the higher levels, you'll get an increased DVR and a number of streams at the same time. Fubo also has add-ons just like YouTube where you can add on HBO Max and Showtime as well. Neither service has contracts, so you can cancel anytime, though when you do cancel, you will pay for the full entire month. Nicely though, both of them have free trials at different lengths of time period that you can go ahead and try the service for free. You do have to register a credit card to get going, but you can cancel it at any time and you won't get charged as long as you're within that trial period. YouTube TVs does have a simpler price model with that single tier, unlike Fubo where there is multiple tiers plus the add-ons plus the different services that you can add on. And what that ultimately ended up for me is about a $15 increase in my monthly bill from switching from YouTube TV to Fubo. Sliding over to the account side of things and how many people have access, YouTube TV does this a little bit different than everybody else where they allow up to six accounts accessing that service. So for instance, if I am the account owner with my Gmail account or my Google account, then I can actually invite in my family or living in my house, I can invite up to five other accounts to join me and they'll get the same level of service. Now, having said that, only three streams at a time can, will be supported unless you upgrade to a different service level of 4K, which gives you unlimited screen concurrently. Ubo TV allows for three screens as well on their base plan, but if you upgrade to their higher tier plans, you can get unlimited streams as well. The key difference with Fubo though, is they're very similar to like Netflix and Disney plus where you actually have different profiles. So all everybody would be using the same login, but you would then see an option to select what profile you want. Moving over to lineup. Now I'm not going to go into great detail on each lineup on each service. And the reason being is quite frankly, they change. And if you want the most up to date information, just go to each website, plug in your zip code, and it'll give you exactly what channels are available in your area. Now, having said that, I live in the Seattle area and both of them provide all the local channels, which is kind of a key thing for any type of switching that you wanna do from cable or direct TV or dish to a streaming service, is you wanna make sure you get your local channels. And both of them have ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox, and CW. One thing I will mention with Fubo TV is that TBS and TNT are currently not on the network and I don't foresee them being added anytime soon. They've been off for at least several months now. And I will also mention on the base plan, like common channels like MLB TV and NBA and DIY are not in the base plan. So you do have to bump up to a higher tier if you want some of those channels. The one key difference for me though with Fubo versus uh, YouTube TV is the regional sports channels and the availability of those. And Fubo TV is one of the things that they do is they pride themselves in sports. And so for me specifically in the Seattle area, there's two channels that are very, very important to me is Pac-12 Network and Root Sports. Both of those channels are only provided on Fubo, which is one of the main reasons why I made the switch and trying out Fubo today. Next up is quality. Both streaming services have 4K content available. Now YouTube TV does have a add-on for $20 a month if you want to have 4K content. Having said that though, they do bundle in unlimited streams and downloading on mobile devices if you get that higher add-on. On the other hand, Fubo TV provides 4K content it's included as part of their base plan all the way through their other plans. However, the amount of 4K content is kind of hit or miss. Picture quality for non-4K content for both, I would say is pretty similar. 
Though I would say that the load times on Fubo are a little bit slower and you may get a poor quality picture at first until it buffers into a higher stream rate. That's really the only difference that I noticed with just overall picture quality. Next up is DVR service. YouTube TV does it a little bit different in the sense that everyone gets unlimited recording with one caveat is it will each thing that gets recorded will only be saved for up to nine months. Meaning if you record something like the Super Bowl and you want to watch it over and over again, once that nine month threshold has been hit, it will get removed from your account and you will no longer have access to it. Now recording on YouTube TV is super simple. If you have a television show or a sporting event or anything that you want to watch, there's a plus button that you tap. It's now in your library and every single episode new or rerun will be simply recorded and easily found in one simple place in the DVR storage. Fubo TV is more traditional in the sense that there is a 250 hours of recording that you get with the base plan. Now for an additional $5, or if you bump up to a higher tier, you can get a thousand hours of storage. Fubo also provides the option when you are setting up to record a series or a TV show to record only new or new and rerun. Whereas YouTube TV doesn't give you that choice. It's always going to record everything. Playing from the DVR is much nicer on YouTube TV as you will get a grid view of all the different shows that you've recorded. Whereas on Fubo TV, you get kind of a, just a list of all the shows. And so you have to continuously scroll to find the things that you want. Now both have search options, but just the general layout of the DVR. If you want to do playback, YouTube TV is a little bit better design. On device support, both of these streaming services are supported pretty much on every platform. I personally use both of these on Xbox, Apple TV, on iPhone, and on desktop through a web browser using Chrome. Having used both streaming services on four different platforms, I will say there are some differences, though more minor in the sense of quality levels between them. I will say that Xbox was a little bit shaky. YouTube TV on Xbox was really good. Fubo TV had some issues with just uh, some bugs and loading and stuff like that. Now, Apple TV and iPhone, both of them worked really, really well. The last area that I want to do a comparison on is the user experience just in general or the UI. YouTube TV has a very smooth and responsive UI no matter where you're at. If you are in the guide and you're scrolling through to see shows in the future, all that information comes in a very speedy manner. If you are watching a show, loading the show is very quick and responsive. You can also skip ahead or skip back 15 seconds with a little preview window, which is really nice if you want to avoid commercials. Fubo TV, on the other hand, I would say is a lit is not as smooth and not as responsive. Now it's still completely functional. It's just the, the delays and stuff between different screens. And when you load in from the DVR is noticeable at times, specifically the DVR, if you're going to load something like a sporting event that may be like three to four hours long, I've noticed that especially on desktop, when I start something like a Seahawks game, it will come in and there will be a static image while it's loading. And you almost think, hey, did this record? The first couple of times I actually panicked that the game didn't record, but it just took a long time to actually start buffering so you can stream the content. Fubo TV also has a 10 second skip ahead and skip back. However, there is no preview. So you don't know if you're what you're skipping. You actually have to wait and let it play before you know and then keep skipping. Both streaming services allow you to customize the guide in the ordering of channels. Now, YouTube TV allows you to completely customize the ordering, of which ones come first. Fubo TV allows you to favorite channels, and those ones will be prioritized and shown first in the guide. Now, just navigating between channels, the edge here goes to Fubo because there is a way to go back to the previous channel by pressing and holding the button if you're on Apple TV. That type of quick back or you know recall is not available on YouTube TV that I'm aware of. Fubo TV also has the ability to have kind of a mini guide pop up so you can quickly just scroll through channels really quickly. Whereas YouTube TV, the only way you can change channels is going back to the guide. Fubo also has multi view, which allows you to watch two, three or four channels at once. And this is awesome. Hands down, you can tell that Fubo's background and where they pride themselves in is sports because having multi-view and watching four games at one time, or even if you're me, like a parent, and you have a kid's channel on with the audio and then the other three are sports games is awesome. Awesome, awesome feature. I wish YouTube TV had this. 
In conclusion, YouTube TV is the better streaming service compared to Fubo TV. But having said that, Fubo is an excellent choice, especially if you're using Apple products. The quality there is just a little bit better than you will see on other ones. However, for me, content is king, and that is why I'm still currently using Fubo TV. And for me, the key difference there is regional sports network. Even with the flaws of Fubo TV, the regional sport networks is the tiebreaker for me right now. If YouTube TV ever gets root sports or Pac-12 network, then that decision becomes a little bit more muddy to me and I will more than likely bounce back to YouTube TV because overall it's just a better experience. But for now, I'm remaining with Fubo TV. Hopefully this comparison between YouTube TV and Fubo TV give you all the key information to help you make a decision on what streaming service to move to. Having said that though, don't forget to look at the guide with your zip code for both of them to see what channels are available in your area. There will be differences if you're in different areas than me in Seattle, especially with local te television shows and regional sports. Well, that is it for now. If you have any questions or comments or just things that I missed in the video that I should consider in my next one, please post them down below. I read and respond to everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this content and would like to see more. And as always, until next time, take care.